You may be asking yourself, Elric, what is that you are holding in your hands? And I won't be holding it much longer because it's a little bit heavy because it's so freaking durable. What this is, man, this is the sound box. The most loudest, the most rugged. It's rain resistant. It's crazy. It's just an insane Bluetooth freaking speaker. And it's not for the meek at heart either because this thing freaking rocks. So let's talk a little bit more about it because I got to put this shit down. That is 31 pounds of bad ass speaker. I mean, I gotta tell you guys, we've all tried out Bluetooth speakers. Some of them are pretty cool. They're kind of loud, but the sound box is something that is honestly, it goes so loud that it could like almost fill a city block. That's right, a city block at maximum volume with sound, man. It's so loud, it goes all the way up to 119 dB. So you know this thing's like right at the pushing point before the speaker starts to crackle up and get breakage. And let me tell you, even at full blast, the sound box still sounds amazing. The clarity is still there. And there's even a boost button, which you can turn on to boost the sound, which brings out even more highs and a little bit more bass on it. So it's just really crazy. It's kind of like, you know, having a, a, a BBX maximum effector on your voice. Just hit that thing, it's like, boo, just a little bit more. And one thing I gotta say, and we'll see how many people get the reference out there is, you know, most amps out there are just big pussies. All they do is go to 10. Everybody goes to 10. Soundbox, this baby goes to 11, which kind of reminds me of a certain movie, which you guys probably know, Spinal Tap. Because in Spinal Tap, homie's amp went to 11 because it much more. Nigel had the best of the bunch, you know what I'm saying? If you can see, yeah. the numbers all go to 11. I'm from that age where that movie was funnier than hell. So you can actually turn the sound box up to 11. That's right. Now, the amp features two crazy different drivers. So you have two of your low frequency drivers that are running at 96 dB, and then you have two high firing drivers, your speakers, which are running at 98 dB. Inside power in the sound box are four 42 watt digital amplifiers that also have a boost mode which all together is just incredible. Now, the sound box sizes in at 25.6 by 17 by 13 inches, or 66 by 43 by 32 centimeters. 168 watts of power inside of the unit. And what's really amazing is you can either plug this unit in, or there are two batteries that come inside of it, and you could literally be a DJ or some band somewhere and play anywhere in the world. It's true. To fully charge each battery, it only takes 3.5 hours. With the batteries charged, if you use it at a low volume, you get 100 hours of power. At medium volume, 30 hours of power. You know, it's super high volume, which is blaring a thing as loud as it'll go, eight hours of power per battery. So pretty much if you invested in a bunch of different batteries, you could literally go on a week's vacation up to the mountains and you could use the sound box for your entire vacation for a lot of people. And you could even get two of these and you could have an outdoor festival that I guarantee anybody would be able to hear, which is really incredible. Now, the price on the package that I got is about $875 because it comes with two of their giant batteries. But if you want something like I said, which I do, and my plan with this, might as well tell you is, is I haven't really filmed too many music videos or done music. A lot of people have asked why. It's because I've had like some serious health issues, but I'm just telling you right now, I'm getting ready to go on this crazy ass massive diet and start filming my music videos again. And one thing about the sound box is that I can go to any sound set. I can go anywhere outdoors, anywhere I want to do, plug in my music into the sound box and then film my videos. So I I can hear you know what I'm doing to do my vocals over what's going on. It's kind of stay there, little T. Stay there. Shh, calm down. Don't get excited. Shh. So, like I was saying, we can go anywhere and film my music videos. And with the sound of this, it fills the area up well enough so that anybody who's in the band can like you know play their part to the music. Which, how if you don't know this, how you know most music videos are filmed anyways. People aren't usually actually playing their instruments. It's usually just a set and they're listening to the music. And for this, what I'm doing is absolutely perfect. Now. If you're a DJ, like I said, or a band, and you wanna go out and play anywhere you wanna go, it might be nice to have actually a pair of these. Now, you think about it, that's gonna cost you about probably sixteen to $1,700, but here's the thing. Back in the day, the police like toured the entire world on old school equipment. With this and your band done right, you can actually go out and be a DJ and you could play on the top of a mountain, you could play on the moon, you could play out in the middle of the, of the ocean and, 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 and run from the sharks, you know what I'm saying? And that to me is what's really cool. Now, thing is durable as all get up. Like I weigh 250 pounds and I'm able to get up 
I tried to stand on the thing and ended up cutting my leg pretty good, but heh, that's because this thing's so durable. It's made of birch wood and it's got killer aluminum all around the outside, solid steel frame front protecting it. It also is completely, completely water resistant. Not waterproof because you can't dunk it into water. It's not meant to, you know, make Aquaman have music underneath the water. But I took a hose, sprayed the hose on it, tried to stand up and like I said, I kneeled on it. Thing works completely fine without any problems whatsoever. You've got just a single set of two controls on the side as long as, as, excuse me, as well as the hookups on the side. So it's very, very easy to use. And if you have access to electricity, which, you know, playing city gigs and doing that kind of stuff, you'll, you know you're going to have, you know, access to power. So you could really be a DJ, get a couple of these things, and you could be doing a professional gig down in Hollywood, wherever there's something, the action's going on, wherever you guys live. Like we live in LA, so Hollywood's like still kind of thing. There's Vegas, you know, but any of those places, you could literally jam out do your stuff absolutely anywhere. And I think that's really why the guys kind of developed this product in, you know, in, in Danish land. Sorry. The Danish folks are the folks who like invented this. Um, I think it was kind of a recreation because if you know back in the day, you know, the Danes always had a lot of outdoor festivals, a lot of dancing, all this kind of stuff. And I think that the idea behind this completely is for that so that you could be outside enjoying your life, enjoying your music or whatever the, your, your needs for the sound can be. And that's a great idea because there are many, many things that are outdoors. Summer's coming up. So if you're a person out there and you're like into entertainment or music and you want to just have something around, it's awesome. Think about it. Pool party. Instead of having to worry about anything, you can just take the speaker out, put it out by your pool, hook it up to your Bluetooth and listen to all the music on your phone and everything out there. And you can be up to 60 feet away from the speaker and still get Bluetooth connectivity. Think about this. If you're just like a person who wants to get into like doing DJing stuff or weddings, I didn't even think about this one, weddings, you can actually use this product for weddings. You can get all your song lists for the wedding and everything on your phone and then go there, hook it up and away you go, hands-free and wireless. So I really like this product a lot. I understand that 875 bucks may be, you know, a little bit of, you know, money for a lot of people, but it depends on what you're doing. Obviously it's not really a hobby thing since it's made like a fricking German tank even though they're Danish, um, it's just made like a German tank. I mean, it's tough, it's reliable, you can smack the thing, stand on it. If it rains, you don't have to worry about, you know, taking it out of the rain, you can leave it out in the rain and still play it. So it's up to you. But if you're looking for, honestly, the most loudest, and I do mean the loudest Bluetooth speaker that there is, it's also probably the biggest, the toughest, most reliable, and, uh, it doubles as a chair, and if you can't get something, you can always stand on like a little leaning ladder. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, folks. Sound box. Like, oh, by the way, here, here's what the batteries look like. The batteries insert on the side. You just plug them in, and that's how you get your battery power. But uh, let me just uh, grab one here in hands. I'm sure I've got some nice B-roll of this too, but it has that new nice uh, battery smell. But uh, they're pretty cool. And also, these are completely military-grade products, so they're durable and they're made to last, and uh, they don't take that long to charge either. So that's just the last thing there, folks. I'm Elric. You can also plug it in, like I said, via this power plug, and uh, that's it, man. So if you're looking for like what I said before and you like the idea, hey, Soundbox may be just what you're looking for.